fish for about 40 minutes. Let me come out so it's more quiet. I fished for about 40 minutes. Had three fish on, but all three spit my hook. It looked like nice sized brookies, but I couldn't tell because I never landed one. Follow this river for about half a mile, but now it's turning into a canyon. So I gotta get out of here because I know how that goes. I follow a couple creeks like that and it goes into a deeper and deeper canyon and then you can never come out. And then you have to walk back following the creek again, so. So this is a 10 mile river next to Route 91 from uh, Leadville. Beautiful water, definitely fishing it. I see the quiet sections. I see fish and uh, I was I was nymphing and I see them just going going after the nymph and turning. Going going after the nymph and turning in the last second. I fooled three of them but I've seen at least a dozen but they just couldn't I couldn't get them to take my uh, fly. Alright, so this was 10 mile river. I'm walking back to the road and found this. Obviously a car went off the cliff long, long time ago. This looks like it's from the 50s or 40s. No idea what this is. There's more of it. He said obviously went down the cliff. You know, who knows, 50 years ago. It's so dry here. It's still sitting here. So it's already steep getting out. That's why I didn't want to continue down this river because it's only going to get steeper and steeper and then it's impossible to come out I already hear cars so I'm good what do we got? strange colored uh, brownie this is a 10 mile river I moved down a couple miles down and uh, uh, it's a strange looking brown Ah, uh, hold on. I need my pliers. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Get yourself right in the lip. There, buddy. Yeah, he's like, uh, he's got strange spots. Let him go. This is right by the interstate. I think I par I'm parked illegally because I parked on the interstate. Off, way off the road. There's a pull off. Let me show you. See, that's where my van is. This is interstate. I 70. And uh, there's a bicycle path on the other side, which I didn't even know about. Otherwise, I would have taken a bicycle. Just got here. Finally landed a fish. Said a couple miles above, I had three fish on, but I couldn't land anything. So that was a 10 mile river next to the interstate. A couple weeks ago, I broke the tip of my rod, a mouse trap. I slid it in there, and there was a mouse trap, and boom, snapped it. But now I stand, stepped on a rod. I was changing fly, lay the rod down on the ground, and I stepped on it, broke it in half. Half, well, broke it. You know. So I end up breaking it into pieces so I can throw it in the garbage. So now I have to fish my big rod or stop on a fly rod somewhere, fly rod, fly shop, and buy a smaller rod. This was 7.6. The other one is 9.6, nine, I think. A little too big for small streams, but. That's what happens, you know? I always break rods, I don't know, I'm so careless with it. Oh well. That was 10 mile river, caught a one little brown. Lost another two. I lost three over, you know, two miles down. For some reason these browns are just so, got so much energy, they shake so violently, they always just spit the hook. Uh, I'm gonna get some food and then move on.